This is Speak My Word Ministries. I'm Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse today takes us back to the book of Numbers. And Numbers is in the Old Testament part of the Pentateuch. You know, you go Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. It's the fourth book of the Bible. And Numbers has a, has a, a pretty considerable dialogue about a man named Balaam. And Balaam was was a prophet but of a small god, G-O-D. He was not walking the walk. And what happens is, as the Israelites are, are coming out of you know, uh, the desert and, you, and, they're, and they're heading towards the promised land, you know, they, they, run, in, they, they run into a guy named Balaam, or, or Balak, rather. And Balak's a king, and he's, and he's getting concerned that all these Israelites are coming forward, and you know, how, you know, he wants to basically get them out of there because he fears for his own country, you know, because the Israelites are so numerous that they're going to, you know, Balak feels like they're going to overwhelm him. So he enlists the services of a, of a man named Balaam, who again, this prophet, and Balaam, you know, he says, hey, I, Balak says, hey, I will give you this much money if you, if you, you know, a lot of money if you curse these Israelites. And God basically gets a hold of Balaam, and, and you know, ba Balaam wants to you know, take the money and, and, and provide the curse that, that King Balak is looking for, but God won't let him. So not just once, not just twice, not just three times, but four times, you know, Balaam you know, tries to curse them, but he can only say what God allows him to say. And listen to this fourth oracle. What's called the Oracle of Balak. Balaam, rather. It's the um, it's uh, Numbers chapter 24, verses 15 to 19. And just again, where we're going with this is keep in mind who you think this is. Just just think in your mind who who is he talking about. We'll talk about it in a second. Balaam's fourth oracle. Then Balaam uttered his oracle, the oracle of Balaam, son of Beor. The oracle of one whose eyes see clearly. The oracle of one who hears the words of God. Who has knowledge from the Most High. Who sees a vision from the Almighty. Who falls prostrate and whose eyes are opened. And this is beautiful. Listen to this part here. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Israel. He will crush the foreheads of Moab, the skulls of all the sons of Sheth. Edom will be conquered. Seir, his enemy, will be conquered, but Israel will grow strong. A ruler will come out of Jacob and destroy the survivors of the city. Again, that's Numbers 24, verses 15 to 19. And of course, I see him, but not far. I see him, but not near. He's talking about Jesus. He's talking about the Messiah. And again, this is you know, thousands of years, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years before Jesus is born. And yet, here is Balaam, a pagan worshiper, who God is using to share truth and share prophecy. And of course, it does come true. Jesus does come out of the, the house of Jacob. He's born in Bethlehem. He dies on a cross. I mean, it's just one more reason to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ because he's God's son and Jesus is God. He was God in the flesh, fully man and fully God. And again, to hear that affirmation from the fourth book of the Bible, Jesus is not only in the first book, but through all 66 chapters, and he lives with us each day to those who call on his name in Jesus' name. Amen.